Welcome to Sunday Roller. Sunday Roller is a myofascial release and stretch. And Monday Roller is Pilates on a Roller. So these are two great combinations. They're not very long, they're about 30 minutes, um, but they are deep and serious. So we're gonna do upper body today, which means that we're gonna start with the lumbar, and then we're going to go to um, the back and the arms and the shoulders and the neck and all the things that get tired because we're working in different situations. Okay, so you're going back and forth and what you're doing here as you go back and forth, it feels like nothing, but actually you're loosening this area up because it, it has been kind of strictly held for those Pilates um, positions. So now you're loosening them up and getting the nervous system aware. Okay, put your hands behind you and pull your uh, roller up above your tailbone and just go up and down between the tailbone and the lumbar. We never go off the hard stuff. Are you on the hard stuff? Yeah, we never go off the hard stuff. Belly button to the spine. Good. <clears throat> yes. So up and down that lower vertebra, we want to release ourselves from sitting, from driving, from flying, all that stuff that our body gets stuck. I noticed that in airplanes, because I just flew for the first time in a long time. Remember when you used to be able to walk around and there'd be like this little middle door area where you could stretch a little bit? Boy, they don't want you to walk around. They don't want you to do anything. And there's no, there's no room because they've done this you know, economy seating, economy plus something seating. I mean, it's been um, created so that it has gotten really expensive and then you don't have many choices. <sighs> it was a luxury one to fly. All right, so tight legs. Drop them right inside your shoulder, right past your neck line. Just a little bit of a drop. You have them together. You're gonna lift a little bit off the opposite glute and then go up and down. So we're putting a lot more pressure on the side to which, to which you are um, uh, leaning. Uh, that's so hard. Yeah, we're not gonna do too much of this because we wanna focus more on the vertebra, but this is a vertebra too, so I want you to just fix. So in this lean, I want you to take this other leg on top. Good, there you go. And then you kind of have that one all by itself. In, it's uh, pressure and the pressure it's getting. Okay. Four more. So there's a little bit of touch on the lumbar on the other side. Last two. You're breathing, right? Open one. Put those legs together. Now shoulder, right? You want to go up and down. Yeah, take it over to the shoulder. You keep them tight because that, that keeps the hips elongated, right? Keep it nice and tight. Good, up and down. Really push into it. I think Rosemary just dropped in. Doing upper body today, Rosemary. Come on, up and down. Good. Beautiful. Three more. Two more. <clears throat> Breathing. And one. And then we put that foot here. Now it feels a lot different. Here's an interesting thing here. On this position, this position here, where you're off the glute a lot more on the other side, keep rolling, and you have your foot up there, you really have to be cogniz cognizant of balance. So you're gonna pull that belly button to your spine to make sure you're aligned in your balance. Three more. Three, and two, and one. And bring those legs back together. Take them as far as you can, keeping your chest forward, up and down. All right, so you're gonna feel a little bit of your hip, Right. You can tell I'm going pretty slowly today. I want you to feel every little bit of articulation. That's why I'm here. Good. Mm, beautiful. Four more. I'm going to ask you to sit in that hollow inside the hip. All right. All right. So there's a hollow right here where the groin reaches across. I want you to sit in that. That's a very kind of gnarly place. Gnarly, as a word, finally comes into use, has a usefulness here, and just sit inside of that. And most people have tenderness there or adhesions there just because we can't, we can't stretch that out enough. 
that's the area where we're always bent, right? All right, so now we're going to take our stuff all the way over, stacking those legs and going up and down the um, hip, right? Good, five more. So one of the things I just caught myself doing was looking at my knee, which means I have my head up open, my neck separated, so I need to adjust that so that I protect my vertebrae. Good. Oops, I'm sliding. Good. Just up and down. Good. Now I want you to take the top leg and stomp it in front of the bottom leg, right? and then rotate yourself around that leg's on the outside, and you're in that hip crease, and you're going to go up. Four more. Three, and two, and one. All right, put your hands under your shoulders. Pick yourself back up all the way to the center. Sit on your glutes. Roll your shoulders back, and roll your shoulders forward, and let's take a little bit of a boot ride right here before we go over to the other side. Good, all right, slip up under, above your tailbone, below your lumbar, and go up and down for 10. Seven more. Good. Beautiful. Last three, and two. And the one, okay, drop it right past your neck. Okay, good, I'm gonna test my camera a little bit and keep going. You have eight to do in this position. I don't know how that's so wacky out of position. All right, keep going. Three more, <clears throat> and two, <clears throat> and one. Now put that foot on top of that leg, forward, right? And go up and down. You can feel the extra pressure on this. Yeah. Four more, and three, and two, and one. Put those legs side by side and take them to the shoulder, keeping your chest to the center. Good. Yeah. You know this feels a little bit, you know, ritualistic. <laughs> I mean, I mean, keep going. There's something, you know, not a lot of grinding, not a lot of pep. You're not getting adrenaline, you don't feel your muscle pumping, but this is so important. Last three, as we know, yeah, that's why you're here. Two and one, put that foot on top. Keep your position, one, go for eight, two, good, three. I can feel things deeply, four, five, six, seven, and eight, put those legs beside as far as you can go. Let's go up and down. So you're way on your hip, you feel that, you feel that whole hip thing going on there. Keep going, lift and lower, or forward back. Um, <clears throat> you feel that whole thing uh, being uh, um, stretched, pull, can't talk, right? Four more, and three, put those feet on the floor, two, and one, now take it, eight more. And then I'll have you sit in that elbow. Two more. And last one, find that hollow next to your hip. You can slide the leg down and just sit in right there. We're gonna take about 20 seconds in there. There's five. There's 10. 15. Thing I do is put the clock there, I have to tell you. All right, let's take it all the way over. We're on the side of our hip, going up and down, feeling all that great stretch. Good. Five more, four, three, and two, and one. Now put that hip or that foot in front, swing yourself around to the hip crease. Drop the knee, and we've got 10 here. And two, three, and four. Foot is in the floor. Five, six, 
seven. Oh my gosh. Eight and a nine and ten. Now from here, put your hands under your shoulders and lift off. And we're going to turn around and put our upper body on the rope. So now the real upper body breakdown happens. Close your arms around your face and let's go and down. Take your time. Do eight up and down the side of the plane to begin. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh my God. And eight. Stay in the middle, right under your shoulder blades. Drop your shoulders to your waist on one side and give me eight more. So you're getting a whole bunch on the back of the deltoid on that side. Nice. You got four more. Good. Six. Nice. Seven. And eight. All right. You're going to drop your hips to the side. Bring your chest around to the side. Let's scoot down a little bit here and stretch the upper arm out. And you can put the lower arm anywhere you want. You want your foot uh, leg that's uh, the top leg behind the bottom leg. All right. So we're going to go up and down the ladder a little bit here. So up and down. Good. Give me eight, two, three. Keep going. Four. Good job. Five. Six, try to be on your side, not rolling back. Seven, because you want to get in that serratus interior. Eight. Now from here, scoot down just a little bit more. You can just rest your lower body. I want you to put your palm to the ceiling of the outstretched hand and lift and lower. You can feel that, right? Two. Now, if that hurts too much, three, put the hand down and just swoop it along the floor. Four. Five. Six. Good job. Seven, there we get in big stretches here. Eight. Now bend it into a bicep curl and lift it again for eight. Ooh, two. So what happens here is you've got the muscle extended three, the, the shoulder muscle. Four. So this is this is compressed. Back here is extended five. That hurts six and seven and eight. Lower that arm down and then flat to the floor. Slide it to the end of the roller and to the top of the shoulder. Two. Three, you've got it. Four, good job. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we're going to come up onto our leg and roll up and down our tricep to begin. Three, that's the outside of your arm. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you're going to take the roller under your shoulder and put your arm below the, you can see that this way. Your arm is at your side. So right here on the end, your arm is at your side, your roller's on your shoulder, and you're going up and down. Right here on the deltoid, not going too far. Good. Now take that arm over top and it's pushing into the armpit and the serratus interior and just lift and lower. Palm to the floor. Yes. Nice. Breathe as you come down. All right, great. Now take yourself back onto your side and then I'm gonna keep moving my lower and then you're coming onto your back so you can keep saying the things. So right here, up and down. We get eight more of these just to center ourselves. So if you re reach your arms straight up, if this worked the way it should work, the arm that you just stretched should reach several inches longer than the arm you haven't stretched yet. So it may or may not be true, but it is certainly is for me. Keep going. I'm going to turn over to the other side so you can see the action. All right. Now dip the... Uh, Shoulder down to the waist and go up and down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't 
don't pull your neck up, right? You want to relax your head in those hands. Good job, all right. So now we could go over, arm reaches out. You can be an arm wherever you want. And we're going to put the foot on the floor and we're going to go down the lat. So take it down. And two, good. And three, good. And four, good job. Five, six, seven, and eight. Extend that arm with the palms of the ceiling, lift and lower. Two, good job. Three, perfect. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now make the bicep curl and do it again. And two, good. Three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Extend the arm, palm down, reach to the end of the roller. Two, breathe in it. Three, you're really loosening up everything here. Four, and you're cleaning your floor. Six, you can be a nice clean spot here. And eight, nice job. All right, we're going to roll around. We can actually keep that arm up here for now and just roll in the serratus and underarm. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And bring that arm in the front. Good. And roll in that delta. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Put the arms down. Bring yourself up and you're back on the back of your roller. Now, we're going to do two that take the neck into consideration, and we're going to lie on the roller for some more upper body. So now this is going a little slow. This is good. All right, slowly up the vertebrae. Remember to put your arms back in position, closed elbows. So lift up one, two, three, four, drop your head back, five, six, seven, eight. Let it drop into the neck. Pushing against the brain, the skull, oh, the skull. I think I remember the name of it. And then come back to the tops of the shoulders, just push hard on those deltoids, and then down the back again a little more. Trouble, the trouble with everybody is I can do it for two hours. There's so much to do. One, two, three, four, drop back, five, six, seven, eight, let it drop into that skull, getting that cervical curve back into its backwards C. And then back to the shoulders, just sit on top of the top of the deltoids, and then take it back down. Good job. Let's do four more rolls. Take it one. Good job. Two. Nice. Three. And four. All right, lower down. Lift yourself up. And then come around and create that side-by-side -side dealing that we do with the, the mat and the roller. So we're going to do some upper body here. Might, we might go like five minutes over today. So I hope you have patience for that. Because when you need this, it'll be there for you. And if you have your tail though, we come down to the roller the same way we come down to the mat. Vertebrae by vertebrae, we lift our lower body and take it down. When we wiggle our upper body, we pull our belly button to the spine. We don't push the back into the roller. Take the hands over the chest, palms or over the waist. Palms facing one another. Rotate the thumbs toward each other and then lower your elbows to shoulder uh, height or shoulder, the shoulder level. So you don't want the elbows to go below the shoulder. What you're doing here is you're pushing the chest up. So part of our upper body is not just the back, it's also the front, right? So we're opening in the opposite directions. These are counter stretches. Now from here, we're gonna push the arms toward the top of the roller and bring them back to 40 or to 90. We're gonna do eight of those. Three, good. So you can feel the shoulder blades squeezing the roller. Good, three more. Three, make sure your uh, wrists are long. Two, good job. And one, all right. You're going to take the arms back up and they're going to face each other. We're gonna do one arm, so bring it down. Same thing. So what happens here is we get a little more action because there's not that band across the back holding us. So I like the separated arms. Good. 
breathe into it and then bring it back up and then the other side, bring it down. So you wanna make sure you get that opposite work. So to make, make sure you keep that arm that's a, up top extending. And let's do it together again, bring it down and we're gonna go from here to the elbows to the floor. Yeah, and then lower it down, right? Stretch them out, you can get some relaxation in there. You don't have to hyperextend them, just stretch them until they're long. Leave the elbows loose. All right, we're getting to the point where we need to stretch our lower body. So let's get onto the mat and put the lower under our knees. I have to move and let's get, get started. All right, both the tailbone below the lumbar. We're gonna feel that big long stretch in the front of our body. Right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop. Bring one leg up, bring the other leg up. Point your toes nice and strong. Bring one leg down, grab onto it, push the other leg away. You can massage your groin muscle to get extra stretch. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. One more time. Good job. And just. Breathe and keep holding it and enjoy it for the next 30 seconds. Last 15. I like feeling my bicep when I do this. Good. And last five seconds. Now, rotate the angle one direction and then the other. Put your hand on the outside of your foot. Push your knee into your shoulder and get that nice back of the leg stretch, open hip stretch. Beautiful. And then push it long again. I'm going to put your hand on the roller, the hand outside uh, the thigh and bring it across so your hip goes to the ceiling. So you get that rotation. We're going to hold it here for 30 seconds again because this rotation complements the upper body work you did. That way you can just stay here and breathe. If this isn't comfortable for you, just go back to your center stretches. I know that twists sometimes are very challenging for bodies with different kinds of structural issues or just structures. They don't even have to be issues. Good. Breathe into it about 15 more seconds. And then bring the leg back up. The legs beside each other. That one's a little bit longer now. And bring this leg down, this leg away again. You can massage your groin to get more, um, your hip crease to get more extension. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower, and you're going to hold it there for 30 seconds. You land on the 12 every time. I don't know how I get so lucky. And hold it right there. Now, one of the things that, you know, we want the leg to be long, so don't feel like you have to go as far. You don't go that far. What you really want is that stretch. That's the, that's the idea, not to um, try to be, I always say, Cirque du Soleil acrobats, right? Last seven seconds. And then outside of the leg, rotate the ankle one direction and then the other, and then push down into it. And then extend it. Now we're gonna do that cross. So grab onto the roller, bring the other arm over. I'm gonna bend mine because I'm gonna run into the background, but you keep your leg long. Take it across, just hold it for 30 seconds, back on 12, and breathe into it. Mm -hmm. Breathe. You can feel that, right? You feel that extension. Good. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back. We're gonna take both legs up. 
rotate outward into our rotated point. And then all the way inside. So you're rotating all the way inside. It means you're trying to face one another. Then rotate outwards again. And then all the way inside. Beautiful. And even those legs out, take them to your big wide stretch and then swing them for some loosening up to go conquer the world. Run around the lake, climb some hills. Good. Eight. There's so much pollen out there right now. Seven, six, five, four. So I hope you all don't have hay fever. Three, two, and one. Let it float, let it float, let it float, let it float. Soften the knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop. Something to the floor. Take it out and lower your body down. Put the bottom of your feet together and your knees apart for your flying butterfly. Drop your shoulder blades. Put your arms out to the side near your knees and take a nice deep breath right here. And then bring the back leg to the front leg. Feel that hip stretch. Bring the hand to the front. Bring yourself up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you were here because I really needed to do that. Pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulders forward, and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, oh my God, thank you for coming to Roller. Oh, you too, Brewster. Thank you, Brewster, for coming to.